it seem like we feel the same We love what we hate We lie, but we know We can't wait to win How can we sit our life's direction? Hello guys, this is Yudel and today's share is about sitting our life into the right direction. This is just a share from my own life experiences and of course from my own reading. Sitting our life's direction is not easy. It needs time, it needs planning, it needs patience, considering to the people you live with or the, the people who are around you all the time. This is not an easy share, but for me in my own life experiences, it needs a lot of journaling. Write it down. What will you do with your life what you want with your life it is about a mindset trick planning knowing that you're enjoying your life knowing that you love what you are doing right now you have to know that in every decision you are making there's a consequence you have to face as well. It's not easy, but you are the only one who can see your life's direction. You are the only one who can plan what you want with your life. We are talking about your own life. And life is too short. Time is precious. Therefore, we have to be wise and smart enough to sit our life's direction. For me, it becomes easier to sit my life's direction in my day-to-day -day life when I am praying about it every day, asking God to guide me, to lead me in everything I am doing, that He is with me and I know that he is not against me. All we have to do is to invite him into our life every day, asking him for guidance, asking him for his heads of protection, to us and knowing that he is in control and what we are doing, he is blessing that if we know how to include him, in our life yes you have to plan you have to write it down and you have to put love into it you have to put love in your plans to direct your life there must be a love and passion with it that you're enjoying it you are loving your life and you are inspired in your day to day life Find things that can make you happy. Find things that can inspire you. The thing that inspired me is the verses from the scripture which I am sharing with you every day in order for us to let God enlighten our mind. And that is what I am doing with His words, with His encouragement. Even though I am suffering with so much troubles, challenges in life, it becomes easier when I know that He is in control, He is with me, and He's working with me every day. So guys, I am sharing with you the scripture which I am inspired today. So, I hope it can, it can help you to as well. The verse I am sharing with you today is from the book of Proverbs 18.21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it and indulge it will eat its fruit 
unveil the consequences of their words. We must understand that we are the one who sit our life's direction. Did you know that the words you speak today are setting the direction for your life? If you want to know what you're going to be like five years from now, listen to what you're saying about yourself. You have to say positive things into yourself. You have to create a positive mindset. You're prophesizing your future. You can speak the pit and have victory. Remember that. You can not talk sickness and have good health. You can speak luck and have abundance. You have to speak all the positive things in your life. As the scripture says, death and, death and life are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it and indulge it will eat its fruit and bear the consequences of their words. We must pay attention to what we are saying about ourselves, about our family, about our finances, and about our health. Even you, you feel weak, you are not going to say, I am weak. You have to say, I am strong. You're going to become what you're continually saying. That's why it's so important to get into the habit of speaking victory over our life all through the day say what god says about you i am blessed i am strong i am healthy i am surrounded by god's favor something good is going to happen to me today Say all the good things about yourself. The proof of those words is blessing, favor, and abundance. It's not just enough to think it. We give life to our faith by speaking all those positive words. That's prophesizing your victory. Bear this in mind that our words have power to help set the direction of our life. When we believe God, He is with us. He helps us to give our faith a voice by speaking words of life and blessing over ourselves and future. We have to believe it and declare it about what we are saying about ourselves when we say positive things to ourselves we are also going to experience all the positive things in our life therefore even if you are sick you have to verbalize it talk about it that you are healthy. Even you feel weak, say about it that you are strong. When you are scared, say to yourself that you are strong and courageous. You are the one bringing the fruits of your own life through your words. So speak good words. Speak the good, positive affirmations for you are going to reap the fruit of it. To sit our life's direction is to think first positive things. Even we are struggling, even we are in you know, difficult situation. Look at for the positive of it. Avoid seeing the bad words because the power is in your thanks. So, speak positive, think positive, set your life into the right life direction 
advice, writing all the good things in your life. Prophesizing the good things, the positive things will bring abundance into your life. So, speak victory and not defeat. That can set the right life direction you want to have. This is not easy, but it is a mindset trick to be aware all the time that we are going to prophesy the good words of ourselves. So watch your tongue, watch your saying, and be aware that the bad words can affect your life. Yes, I know it's not easy, but as the scripture says, the power is in your tongue. So verbalize the good things, verbalize the positive thing, keep saying to yourself that you live an abundance life. If you are weak, say you are strong. If you are sick, say you are healthy. If you are scared, stand firm and say you are strong and courageous. As simple as that. This is Yun Dan. Thank you for listening. Thank you for dropping here in my channel. I am very grateful to each and every one of you supporting me here in my life journey. I love you all and goodbye. Like we feel the same, we love what we have.